All right, we're underway. Puck's a bit messy here. Thunder dumps it in deep through Mitchell Freer. Pass chased by Burt Haynes now. Haynes plays it up the boards. Kept in there by Sandoy. Sandoy rings it around the boards. Stopped there by Haynes. Haynes looking up ice. Haynes going to skate it out himself. Go, enters the neutral zone. Broken up there by Harrison. Harrison turns the play around. Mason Brooks there with the puck. Passes to Dunford. Dunford passes across ice to Lee. Broken up there by Andre Robichard. You never know Andre is 40-year-old. Holy the mackerel. The captain of the Eden Thunder plays like he's a 20-year-old, but he's got that head on him, and he knows exactly what to do. He's a very wise hockey player. Look at well, that's the secret, eh? If, you're not, if you don't have... Mind you, he's still got the wheels. I was going to say, if you don't have the wheels, you got to have the brains, but I think he's got them both. Yeah, in right here with an opportunity. In right breakaway. Shoots, scores! <coughs> Stampede cough it up in the neutral zone, leaving an opportunity that was... Um, Enright had, uh, I forget the other Dunedin player, backing him up. They had a great opportunity. It turned around real quick. Transition was far too fast for Stampede to collect on. And just top shelf on the, uh, well, Aston Brook. Well, it's hard for Aston. Enright was in all alone. Yeah. And that, hep that was almost a, a replay of last night, but Aston made the save last night when that, Enright went in alone. That's and I think right. he's learned from his mistakes. He's like, well, Aston knows if I'm going to go glove side, he's going to get it. Yeah. So I'll go the other way. You know, if you don't get a lot of them. Puck comes back here mm -hmm. to Burt. Burt crosses a pass to Dunford. Dunford back to Haynes. Haynes with the puck. Haynes goes in deep. Back to Haynes. Cross to Dunford. Dunford fakes a shot. Passes to Haynes. Haynes standing in there. Passes it to Schneider. Thunder looks to clear here. Can they do so? Yeah, Thunder's managed to get it outside the zone. Schneider now with the puck. Pass across to McRae. McRae just waiting. Passes it across to Strayer. Australia out in front. Good chance there for the Stampede. Good scramble there for the Thunder to keep that out. It was really an open net there. Kennedy went down on one of those shots. It was a big wide open net, but just couldn't put it away. McRae puts it across to Schneider. Schneider back to Australia. And no like, questions mm. asked. It was a tic-tac-toe play. Beautifully passed. Beautifully tapped in. Australia made it look like he was playing pond hockey just tapped it in. Kennedy was so far out of the, on the other side. In saying that, not much he could do. He, you know, he's got so many to cover. That's one of those goals you can't blame on the goalie. The goalie was covering Schneider, which he should have. Schneider passed it across to Strayer, and Strayer just packed it in there. But that's the sort of goal that you expect on a five-on-three. You've got that space. You really should be working it in. I've heard she doesn't even cook the lamb. Possibly not. They like it rare. All right. Sunder's got a five-on-three here for 23 seconds. See if they can do the same as the Stampede did earlier. Passing it around. Harris with a shot from high. Can't get it in. Andre Robichard shoots it. Side of the net there. Andre passes it out to Jesse Cutman. Cutman across to Freer. Shot. Goal by Mitchell Freer. That was uh, a beauty. That was another beautiful shot. I think Aston was well and truly screened, but it was upstairs there where Mum keeps the cookies. There's Top another shelf. One, there's another one of those five on three goals. And that, again, exactly what you expect from a five on three. The teams, for many years in the uh, NZHL, teams struggle to score on the 5 on 3 for some reason. They seem to have got their head around it now. You just pass the puck around, you create the space. Brooks with the puck. Brooks passes it up to McRae. McRae passes it across to McCard. Harrison McCard into the zone. Tries to skate around the clanche, can't do so. McCard just dumps it in there. Schneider. Tries to control the puck. Now comes up for McRae. McRae shoots. Goal. Inside. Inside. I don't know how that snuck in there. There was nothing but a, a small window. Well, there's that goal you're talking about, Dave. You're saying they needed that goal before the yep. period ended. Yeah, hey, listen there. to me. Good old Coach Steve. Kennedy will be a wee bit disappointed with that. You don't really want to lose a goal on your short side there. Not that, uh, did he start moving over, perhaps, because um, it was coming from an arrow to a wide shot? And I would have bet a whole paycheck on the fact he was going to pass that puck. Don't get me wrong, I'm not blaming him, but I just don't think he'd be personally happy with letting in a short side goal. Yeah, that one um, will be on him. Five on five with 13-15 left in that third period. To all. Anybody's game. Brooks with the puck. Puck comes out front. Goes in the net. I do not see the light go on. The puck went in the net. The light did go. Did it? <laughs> I didn't. Dave didn't see it because yeah. he's wearing his stampede glasses. Yeah. Oh. 
I'm not sure who scored there. That was just uh, one of those messes in front of the net. Puck just sort of came out and sort of chipped over Aston Brooks. Tempe dumping in deep, forcing Paris Hyde to go round. Start from their own end. Just look for the opportunity. Passes it ahead. Finds Cartman. Cartman with the puck. Cartman enters his own. Cartman with a great goal last night to tie it up. Pass it across ice. Mitchell free of Breeries it. I guess we could have read that one. Cartman taking it all the way in. M Mitchell Freer sneaking in that backside, the wide side. Easy man to pass to. I think uh, Stampede, I think they had him covered, but not tight enough. You know, Freer's, <coughs> Mitchell Freer's a slippery dude. Last We've got Compton with the puck. Compton's going to skate it in, pass it across ice. Australia can't control with his foot there. Wilson didn't know what he'd done with it, but he'd stopped it. Oh. Two good shots here by Compton. Scores! Messy puck in front of the net. Four attempts to bang that puck in. Finally went in. Australia, I think, and he fell over on the celebration there. But a bit enthusiastic. Now, we don't want a situation like the England goal in the Soccer World Cup the other day where the physio had to be stretched off after injuring himself during a celebration. <laughs> so at least I'm stray is okay. Well, well, well. Compton carrying it in. Wide pass to McCray. Shooting, bouncing around. We've talked about that bouncing puck in front of those Fulton. That's not like Canada to let the bouncing puck go. Now the pass comes up to McCray. McCray puts it into the centre. Strayer. Sunder doing well, breaking out the play. Dunford now, skates into the zone. Cutting in, tries to chip it ahead. Now Paris Hyde. Paris Hyde turns around, scores the empty net goal. I didn't know. Paris was skating backwards and then sideways and then finally got control of it. Picked up that empty netter. Now, great game. Thunder winning 5-3. to three. So that's a split weekend again.